I gotta ask y'all something because y'all play in this thing. Why, did, why does um, AD and Embiid, uh, Embiid, why are they on the floor so much? Why do they fall on the ground? Because they're goofy. Have you ever seen big men fall that much? Never. Not that much. They never. Why? They ain't got no balance. They goofy. <laughs> Well, how? Like, I'm like a- AD's a little dude who got big. Right, that's what I'm saying. AD ain't pu- even supposed to be that tall. He grew. He had a growth spurt, so he out there dangling. Oh, yeah, you can see the still. I mean, it's, it's, it's wobbly. Yeah. It's wobbly. He just dang, dangling. It's, 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 not, it's like they're not playing. They're not playing strong when they need to play strong. Right? It's like they're always. It's like like you know how guards. Yeah. Right? We're coming in like. J- out jump trying to get hit and doing it's like they're trying to get a foul yeah. and they're not going up strong for that play That's they're going in with the ideal of getting fouled. trying to sell the call like, by falling like me i'm hitting the floor or and you remember and you ever play with antonio daniels and that's he lived on the floor because he's trying to get fouled the whole time so he's coming in wild. Try, it seems that's how they're playing. They're playing with a wilder style, trying to force fouls. And when they don't get it, motherfucker move it out of the way. Here you go. Could you play in today's game? Yeah. Yeah? Because mm. they don't have y'all back there. They, they, like they don't play? have y'all back there anymore. They don't have Shaq. Could you I, play? I could play. I'd be, a, I'd, be, I'd be up here talking about why I didn't make the All-Star team. Like, <laughs> you can't touch me and I go to the basket? And, and y'all gonna buy me food at Ruth Chris? Man. <laughs> <laughs> a delicious restaurant. Y'all gonna buddy up after? Buddy up after. Dude, I, I literally had Oakley throwing <laughs> things at me at a nightclub one time, and I was like, I'm gonna have to punch him and run. <laughs> and it ain't gonna work, but I'm gonna have to. Uh, I, 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 like I said, I, I don't know if we could play in today's game, but I know the fact that y'all let seven, four people shoot threes, I, I think... My coaches would have stopped practice, made us run suicides. Uh, that's the thing when you go back and forth the line. No, well, I was in 2000. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, 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 Sometimes I don't get it. I just, I see it. You, you was always this big, right? Yeah. Yeah, you born like that. So I don't, <laughs> came out like that. Super <laughs> up. You came out like that. <laughs> I, I don't know. Man. I see it. I see it differently. And when I watch it, like, and I hear it too, right? I hear when you guys, when, when people talk about as if they're taking one piece and putting it there and that one piece is going to perform right every time. If you don't have a bench and somebody to come in and light fires, you're not going to get it done. Do you think that it's um, bad for the game not to have those elements of a big man that plays traditional big man basketball instead of the seven foot three, four, seven footer shooting threes, bringing, changing the dynamic of what the spacing used to be. Yeah. Inside out. Playing inside out was a thing because it was an advantage for the team who could do it the most efficiently. We, we, we were blessed that we had Bill Lambert because Bill Lambert would lay wood on somebody, grab, uh, grab, um, pause. Um, <laughs> Rebound. No Diddy. No, that's why like, you he, know you y'all looking at me. I'm not about to be here. He's he, seen you. I he, really he, hope he's seen you. What over here? Doing it. I was just confused. He's seen you. We can't use the no Diddy on this no more. I told yeah. you that's okay. more of a physical sting. Oh, okay, now. so now we. He that's would. More he, would he would. He would. He would play physical. Grab rebounds. But if you didn't play him, he would shoot a three. Yeah. So that was that was a technique, and I guess that technique has has moved on. Um, but I, I, I think about this. I think about the way you play. I mean, it, y- y'all are the last of, the, of, that, of that era. Now everybody is playing exactly like, like you guys set up the blueprint. If, if you're in between and you can't shoot a three and dunk on a seven-footer, yeah. you can't play in the league. Yeah, facts. The lead has changed. So I, I, I was, so I was around when I... He can take credit for it, or we can blame him for it. Shaquille O'Neal is the reason the game is the way it is today, right? But nobody realized that. When he got, when you could not guard him with one, two, or three people, right? Think about 93, 94, when he was becoming who he was. Think about all the big men that came into the league that were fives, that said, yeah, I'm I'm going to the four. I did. 
That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Came in and uh, I'm, I'm playing for Miami. And, you know, my, I started losing my hair, so I started growing these little twists, like mm-hmm. trying, to get, trying to get the last bit. Uh-huh. And we walked in, and he said, no, we all going to be bald. We're going to be a team. And I shaved my head, and Shaq still gave us 20 and 20. And uh, Ronnie Cycli got the Shakita flu. You know what that is. Every time Shaq plays, he gets the <laughs> itis. <laughs> and I was like, God, this kid is amazing. And you can't foul him all the time. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, yeah, he did change how everybody else moved. But you know who else? Um, um, I was amazed you used to score so much. Like, I would have hit, somebody would have really hit you back in the day. Back. Like, the way you <laughs> score, and then yeah, you, you would have. I loved it, though. You See, I played run. football, so I love, I love aggression. The, the reason that it was easy for me is because I was more fortunate than everyone. We didn't have a scoring big. Mm. So I was kind of like Isaiah Thomas, yeah. where the offense was generated between the guards. So Antoine Jameson, um, Larry Hughes, uh, Richard Jefferson. We didn't pass the ball to Eric Dampier. And, so, and then Antoine Jameson was a pick and pop guy before there was a pick and pop guy. right? So when we did pick and roll, it was pick and pop or take it because we didn't have to wait for the offense, pass it to the big man, get out of there. So my second year, coach was like, all right, we're going to run two plays for the big man and then, every, then guards take over. So I became a scorer versus somebody like Tony Parker, yeah, Tim Duncan, Dave Robinson. He has to throw the ball. So I was more of an attack mode, and it was going to be hard to get me out of that. Why don't you coach? Exactly. Why don't, you, why don't you put your hat in to become the Laker head coach? Mm. Exactly. I don't think that's a good idea. We be, 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 don't give that face like yeah, you ain't thought about it. Yeah. Don't give be, that face like you ain't thought about it. Because I'm not even going to pretend that coaching is an easy thing, right? You know, like being able to do the plays and stuff, there, it's, it's more than that, right? It's a practice, practice game plan. Right, uh, subs, egos, right? Because I'm one of those that I, I would probably have a whole bunch of motherfuckers mad at me. Right. Because I'm not the old coach that sit there and got the blueprint. All right, we're going to sub you in with three minutes left. It's like, oh, he giggling. Fuck that. Yeah, dude. fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, this motherfucker going over here throw bottle pop. Like, I'm, because even in, even in, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. when we're playing, you've walked into a locker room yeah. and you sat there and a teammate came in there and you'd be like, he ain't got it today. For sure. I, 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 I would be looking at the game from there. I'd be sitting there watching mannerisms. How he warming up? Yeah, right. You know what I mean? And I don't want to be the reason that I'm not playing somebody and I'm messing yeah. up the kind. I don't want to be responsible for that. I went to the uh, Brooklyn Nets uh, um, Pacers game in New York, uh, I think in, in March or something, April or March. And I was watching, you know, I walk up to Carlisle, and he was Chuck Daly's uh, 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 mentor, mm-hmm. uh, uh, mentee. And he was like, Chuck said, you get six points, six rebounds, and five fouls. And I go, and we'd win. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said, do not. I said, I had to fight for those six points, and it would mm-hmm. tap ins because Isaiah was not throwing me the rock <laughs> uh, at all. Uh, <laughs> uh, but when I watch it, I watch even the warm ups, man. Mm-hmm. When I watch them come out, and they're doing their warm-up piece. I watched KD do it with those spins, like I saw it. Like he, and, but I watched him shooting from all the spots he's going to shoot in. Mm. I saw everybody else looking to see if they side piece came in. Right. Oh, she got the seats. Oh. Yeah, see, that's... Yeah, I, I see that. Yeah, I would be highly upset. <laughs> Very important. Yeah. Very that's important. Why said, that's why I said I can't be a coach because I, I'm, I'm looking at everything, mm-hmm. right? It, it's film. I'm watching how you're on a plane. Like, even though I'm that player, I'm, I'm, I'm still judging you off of that. Right, and then I'll, I'll, I'm one of those guys. Like, if if you, if the starters ain't getting it in, I'm the one. Bones Highland, get in there. Let me see what you got. Yeah. I say, what about the correction? Yeah. To me, it's like when you see it, you can see it, and you can allow it to occur and develop into bad habits. Right. But for me, it's always correction before the the storm comes. Mm-hmm. And if you see these things during warmups, that means that they would they've been doing this shit in practice. Like Mm-hmm. Right, so this this is a correction in practice where I'm going to let everyone know if I see you in here bullshitting, mm-hmm. don't even be looking over at me wondering why you ain't playing. Mm-hmm. This happens for preparation. 
Our preparation is going to dictate our success. Our success is going to dictate your paycheck, nigga. Do you want to get paid? And take this shit serious. Because I don't want to have to be the one to blame because you're not getting paid, because you're not getting no, no playing time, because I'm looking at your mannerisms because you don't want to take this shit serious. Mm. That's, a, mm. that's the first thing. That would be Maybe my you first. should be a coach. What I'm saying, that'd be my first speech. You want me to coach, guys. <laughs> my first speech would be like, hey, man, how many of y'all want to be max players? Everybody raise their hand. Do y'all know what it takes? Probably not, because y'all not. But look, <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't be sarcastic. I know, but because you know what I mean? but, that's, rea that's the reality part of it. Right? They don't, don't want to fight. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what makes them. That's what makes them. Like the fact that y'all not. I mean, that's. But I mean, do y'all know what Steph and LeBron do? Mm. Right? But, do but, you know what KD does? If you don't, this is what they do. They're taking a thousand shots a day. They're not going to the club every city we go to. They in the gym working out three, four times a day. That's what they do, right? Y'all, first bus, second bus, max players, there's no second bus. They don't know what the second bus looks like. They don't know what it smells like. Even because the they've been in the gym since three o'clock. So, the first bus. I, I got, shouldn't. Y'all got buses. Different buses? Yeah, first mm -hmm. and second bus. Shit. Shit, I think they got third bus now. <laughs> See, there, there shouldn't be no third bus. I, I don't yeah, know I what the second like, bus looked like because I was in the cab. First bus is for young players. Young players get there early right. on the first bus. Second players, vets players, they get there a little bit after. Like, See, I was, I was told that I had to take a cab. I'm about to say. I had to take a cab and get there at 3, 4 o'clock. Yeah, I'm about to say so that. So that's all I knew, 3 or 4 o'clock. There was no left first, but I had to get there before everybody to get all my things. So that's all I know. So I got to see... I'm a rookie trying to get on the court being punished. In my mind, I'm being punished. Fucking here doing line drills and all that stuff. But I'm seeing Kobe Bryant here. I'm seeing uh, Steve Nash. I'm seeing Ray Allen. Oh, this is the time the superstars come. Yep. Oh. Yep. I'm seeing this is when the superstars work out. And I'm watching my play when, then when my, the, the rest of the team come in. And I'm sitting here and they sitting there. They shot going. They doing this. They can't get a rhythm. And I'm looking down there, Kobe in the back, he ain't coming out because he already did his shit. Yep, yep, yep. That's what it is. So when I'm telling kids you want to be a max, then you got to fucking work like one. Because I'm telling you, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to be on your ass where you got to take a thousand shots. That should already, you should already want to do that. Mm -hmm. And it's You should already want to do that. Like, I, I don't understand, you know, players, look, they, they giving fucking money out. Mm. Right? What are you gonna do? Two sixty. Cause your kid, your kid is great. I watched your kid eight and six. become eight great. Eight and six. What you gonna do when he relaxes? The same thing I said. I, <laughs> hey, hey, I be, I be like this. He be sitting there playing video games, and I'm like, you real good at this game. Mm. <laughs> and you put a lot of hours in, huh? Yeah. Mm. You look like a hundred million dollar dude. He's like, what that mean? Because if you was bad at this game, that means you on the court. That dude that's sitting on the court, not on these games, that's 300 million right there. Mm, the time million. you you spending four, five hours in here when you could have got four, five thousand shots. And I be telling them, it takes, it takes one hour on a shooting machine at three seconds to take a thousand shots. You spent an hour on here where your ass could have been Steph Curry out there. Yep. Yeah, that's a bar. Mm. Like, I'm not going to sit here and, hey, man, we need to, to, to go to the gym. He'd you, be like, you should know. Your sister was you out should, there. Man, you should yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I be saying it. Yeah. <laughs> I, say, yeah, I say, your little brother, I say, your little brother wake up at 5.30 every morning. That's a bar. Mm. So, I, you know what I mean? So that's, I'm not, I'm like, yo, you should be, you should be training for Kyrie. You got to guard Kyrie. I said, you at the age where you got to face Luca. Yep. You, you got to face Jalen Green. You, you got to go against Brunson, motherfucker. Shay. So I don't know who you think you're training for, but they whooping your ass. Mm. I told him. I told him yesterday. I said, I Jalen Green right now. They stopped winning. Thirty days ago, forty days ago. Yeah, probably forty. He mm -hmm. works out three times a day right now. He in the gym three times a day, going hard. I wow. said he's been done only thirty days, and he's three times a day already. How you you think you match it up to that dude right now? Hmm. You better get real. Hmm. I'm just being real. That's who you got to face. Yeah. You over here thinking about. Chasworth, I mean, the, uh, you know, Fear Kane kid, the fuck, fuck them. <laughs> Shit, that's who you got to call. <laughs> <That's good parenting. laughs> My boy, Michael Christian, and I, well, he would be like, we would be at the club, and Joe Dumas said, it's good, 8 o'clock in the gym. 
And we'd be like, yeah, yeah, we'll be there. And we would literally put our stuff in the back and get there at 6 and sleep in the car so Joe would knock on the door. Because we wasn't going to go home. We'd make it back up. Boy, 12. And Joe would work out four hours, put on a suit, and then go to his office. Like, well, what does he do? And then, <coughs> then he became the president. And I was like, oh, mm. obviously what I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do.